Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January. We are just going to see what comes up. What do we have for January for Virgo? Remember, this is for January. It's being recorded in December, but it is for the month of January, but, you know, the timing is fluid. What do we got for Virgo? Two of Wands reversed. So there's a level of indecision, maybe a level of confusion. You're not sure. You're not sure what to do. Um, confusion. Now, this could be a sudden departure or a sudden entrance, okay, that you didn't, that you didn't see coming. So this could go either way. Hmm, something could happen suddenly. Now, the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is a test. It's a slow, th slow methodical test of some sort. This is move slowly. Think about this. Take your time. But then again, this is sudden. It's a, it could be a, there could be a sudden change of some sort. Um, but this is a planner. Plan effectively. Try to get prepared as best you can for whatever this is. Hmm. Definitely going to be a change this month, okay? So, Virgo, there's going to be some sort of change in January, okay? It's like you're receiving something, okay? Whatever it is. Or something is leaving. It could go either way. But this is receiving. It looks like you're going to need to adapt. You're going to need to be flexible. You may need to change your plans. Um, could have to do with children. We have the Six of Cups in reversed here. Now, some maybe children are coming home. Or something like that. Or this could be children leaving. Now this, in, in many cases, the Six of Cups reversed is children leaving. Could be children leaving the home. Or they could be coming home, coming back. Um, whatever this change is, it probably does have to do with children. It could be two children. Okay? Um, there could be... Uh, now, this is freedom from obligation, packing up, leaving home, leaving the past behind as well. Some of you could be leaving your past behind. Interesting. The Six of Cups reversed can also be... Um, issues with the children. Um, maybe some children need therapy. Nothing stays the same with the Six of Cups reversed. They're even, I mean, I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that is abusing children. Or there's child neglect or something like that. But this is a gift, okay? Because that is the Ace of Pentacles, which is a gift. So interesting. Now, maybe you need to plan to leave with the children. I don't know what that means. But for some of you, make sure that you are ready. Now, this is very stable. We have a union here. A stable partnership of some sort. You may be getting a new opportunity because this is a choice. This is a choice. So, and we look at two, two, two. So, we have two, two, two. Faith and trust. Twos are also about foundations. Twos are about balance and choices. It's time to take the next step in regards to a partnership. This is the beginning of a foundation, building a foundation or a or a union that is stepping it up to the next level. You are definitely going to be dealing with some sort of change this month. There could be a reunion even. This is making a conscious change. Okay. Now, this could be somebody that is focusing on their weight. They're losing weight, becoming more healthy. But this could, uh, this is dropping some baggage, dropping some, this could be dropping something off. Somebody may be drop me, dropping something off to you. And whatever they're dropping off is a gift, okay? Because I do see, I do believe you're going to be receiving some sort of gift. That Ten of Wands reverse, this is freedom from something. Now, if you are losing weight, somebody could be losing weight or focusing on their weight and focusing on losing weight. 
This is also a card that balances waiting. And I can see that we have some balance issues here. Needing to balance out things. Balance out your life. Your your job with your relationship. So for some of you may need to regain balance. You may be trying to do too much. And it, your your relationship may be suffering because of it. There's, this is a relationship. So this definitely has to do with a relationship. There's an opportunity for happiness here. A happy home. Very comfortable. A lot of happy. At peace. So it, it looks to me like somebody's relationship is stepping it up to the next level. Or there's healing within a relationship. This could happen very suddenly. Or... I mean, this could be a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. Some, you could be adding to the family. Maybe somebody's getting pregnant. I don't know. Queen of Wands reverse. If there was another woman or another man, um, this is anger. I mean, the Queen of Wands reverse is somebody that is angry, somebody that has a self-image problem, somebody that isn't very healthy and works out of a low vibration. Um... King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands reverse. That is very interesting. So this is not stable, not secure. This person it has a big chip on their shoulder. Somebody that these people are both, you may be dealing with a couple that is working, you know, very egotistical. Um, these people are um, unstable. They are definitely unstable. It's the end. This is this is freedom, liberation. If you you may be dealing with people, a couple of people, or a person that is very low vibrational, they're not stable, they're not secure. This is the end of something. Okay, this is a this is the end of a painful situation. This is definitely freedom and liberation. Could have something to do with your family. I. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10. Completion. There's a completion within your family. Something is ending. Okay? It is. And it's ending with, a, it could be a mother and a father. I don't know what it is. There could be a divorce. There could be a split. There could be a change in the living circumstances for the children or a child or something like that. Um, there's going to be like a sudden... Uh, Ending by the looks of things with these tens of a relationship. Okay. There's freedom. There's liberation. It's like all of a sudden somebody just can't take it anymore. They can't, they can't do this anymore. There's no growth. There's no passion. Somebody was being controlled. We have very controlling energies, overly controlled, very unstable, very unrealistic. Um, there's anger issues. There's, uh, control issues for sure. But this is, this is the storm is over or it's it's like I wonder if this is another like a near death experience, you know, I don't know what that is. Another 10. Oh my god. So you something is completing within your family. Could be the end of a family legacy or something. There's a change in the home front. There's the change at home. There's a change within your family dynamics it has to do with children or your elders, your parents. Okay, or the parents of the children or whatever it is. We definitely have a major completion here. 10, 10, 10, 10. Note that you can't make that shit up even if you wanted to. Okay, so whatever this does, it leads, it, it's like it's bringing somebody else home. Whatever that means, somebody's going home. They're leaving one home and going to another home. Somebody may be moving home. There's a change on the home front. And you're going to need to be flexible. You're going to be able. To, you're going to need to adapt to these changing circumstances. Okay. So this month is going to be about adapting to some sort of sudden departure or sudden entrance. Okay. Somebody could be coming to live with you, or somebody could be leaving, or you're moving, or something like that. Um, now this is very. I mean, this, there's there's a there's a loss of weight here, or something to do with weight. I don't know what that means. Somebody may be losing weight. Um, but there is going to be a union of some sort. Whatever this union is, this is this is very beautiful. So we do have a beautiful coming together. And a union is between two people. <laughs> and you know, two people don't have to be lovers. Okay? So we do have a new partnership here. 
um, between two because of all these twos. So we have tens and twos. You're going to need to have faith and trust that this is all happening for a reason. Um, does for some this really has to do with family and children? Um, somebody has been under another person's control and it's been killing them. It's like a slow, painful death. But it's over with these tens. Something is ending. Something big is ending. Okay. Um, it's all about love. So this is a healing love. There's, there's a new opportunity for love here. There is. There's a new opportunity for a loving relationship. But somebody has to let go of something first. There's, there is love here. There is. There absolutely is. You're going to be receiving some good news, an invitation, or an offer from somebody that is exciting. Um... It could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. This person takes action. This person is a protector. This person takes charge. Knows, goes for it. Just goes for it. So we have somebody here that is very excited. They have a lot of passion. They're very... Uh, this, is some, this person is mature and wise. They may, they may have something for you. They do have something for you. They do. It's an exciting opportunity for love. So you got love here, Virgo. You do. It's, it's something to do with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. This is somebody who excites you. Oh, but there could be somebody that it doesn't like you. Okay. Because of this Queen of Wands, this could be an ex. There could this person may have an ex that hates you, or there's hate here. There's bitterness. There's revenge. There's there's vengeance. Um, this person may be jealous. They may get be, get very very upset and and try to uh, hurt you. I just got to be honest with you. This person she acts out of spite. There's a lack of balance here. Somebody is not balanced and they're not healthy. They're not healthy. And they ha they go to extremes. They go to extremes to... Uh, they're fake. We have somebody here that is fake. To hide who they really are. But I think this person is a visionary. This person sees it. This person sees another person's fakeness. And it's like... What is this person doing? For, it's over. It's like this is a dead end. It's, it, this leads to death. It leads to a dead end. It's it's unhealthy. It's ill. This person is ill. So I think we have somebody here that sees that they're dealing with it. Because this could be even somebody that's mentally ill. This person is not healthy at all. It's like somebody sees it. Interesting. Now this is a need to retreat, to recover, rehab. Somebody may be going into recovery, going into rehab. This could be somebody who makes a decision. The King of Wands is, is, is somebody who is very is in a authoritative role usually. So somebody in authority could be making a decision and sending somebody to rehab. I don't know if that's for you, but I'm just saying. This is a dead end. This is the death of an idea or a person, so I'm not sure what's happening there. But this is bitterness. Okay, so you may be dealing with some bitterness. Could be you, could be somebody that you're dealing with. There is some sort of union here that is practical, but it's, it's sudden. So there's a sudden change here. And you're going to be tested. Okay, you are going to know that you're going to be tested. Your balance, your stability, your security is going to be tested. Somehow, you are going to be tested. There's going to definitely be a reunion of some sort. Whatever this is, it could be a soulmate reunion or two soulmates coming together unexpectedly. There's a need, there's a cause for celebration or there's going to be a celebration. If you are single and you haven't met somebody yet, you're completely single. You're going to some sort of celebration. You're going to meet somebody that uh, really strikes your fancy. 
or you if, if for some of you your a relationship is stepping it up to the next level somebody could be getting engaged to they could be getting married there could be an anniversary party whatever it is there is a celebration here that is coming up is an upcoming celebration it's like it's a victory but something ends first okay because of all these tens so don't don't just neglect that fact okay something is ending and it is in within within the family okay it's within the home or the family there's going to be a change and you're somehow involved whereas you're going to need to adapt to this changing circumstance something to do with children for sure okay there there's no doubt about it children here children here children here okay there's something to do with children okay we have two people coming together that i think that are meant to come together somebody is very jealous this could be the stepmother the queen or the ex or both So we have a death of something. Something is ending for sure. And this, I mean, this this could be the father, okay? Because this could be the father, okay? Because that, that I'm just saying. And this is uh, extremely, extreme. I think there's going to be some chaos. There's going to be some upheaval. I'm sorry to say that. This could be the mother. Okay, so we, so we, we say, and I said father and mother over here. Something between a father and a mother is coming to an end. Could it be due with, due with a stepmother or a stepfather as well, or just a father, whatever it is, or an ex. And there's going to be some sort of reunion. There's going to be some sort of celebration. It's it's going to lead to happiness. It's going to lead to healing. It's going to there's a reunion here or a reconciliation of some sort, or there's a new love. There's a new opportunity, and it's big love, okay? Somebody has been neglected, but it's over. So I think there's going to be a new spark. There's, there's a new flame. There's something exciting. This is what I saw when I began shuffling this deck before I, before I said anything was the Ace of Wands, and I should have just said it. When I was shuffling and I was talking, I saw the Ace of Wands in my hand before I paid this one down. But I didn't, I didn't say it. And I saw it in my head. Okay, I saw it. But anyway, the Ace of Wands, a new spark. It's a new exciting opportunity. It's a gift. of, And it's, and it's an opportunity for growth. So this could be a new sexual partner or a new partner, a new exciting opportunity that is just presented to you. And it's, uh, it, it, there's fertility. It's, it's a very fertile time. If you're looking to get pregnant now, is definitely the time you could definitely get pregnant. Okay, um, now this is a very sudden as well, okay, so we have very, uh, this is like a sudden opportunity that is being given to you that is going to be very, very, very exciting, okay, it's like you, you, you're going to be, well, standing tall, okay, you're going to be on fire, I mean, take a look at that, there's probably going to be some fireworks, so yeah, get prepared for an exciting month in January, Virgo. Things are going to change, and this is fast, okay? Things are going to change fast. And whatever this is, it's it's uh, you're going to be happy with the outcome, okay? There's a lot of happiness that is coming. There is. There's happiness, there's love, there's excitement. There's uh, There could be a new family member, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. But... Um, Somebody's going to be jealous, okay? Or very unhappy with the change. It's like something is being given to you. It is. Instead of instead of one, it's two. So be prepared. Be prepared. You're going to have to adapt to something. Have faith and trust with these twos. We have a soulmate connection here. Whatever the, Whoever this person is that is entering or has just entered or whatever it is, it is a soulmate connection. It is meant to be. So, Virgo, uh, this could have to do with a child. Maybe it's a child.
Maybe it's two families coming together. You know, it's two, because this is a family, this is a family. Maybe it's a, uh, you know, two families joining, you know, what do you call that? Co, co coming together? I, I don't even know. But, you know, it's two families or something like that. There's a there's a change and there's a big loss for for a couple, a, fa a mother and a father. Whatever that means, okay. Um, somebody's not stable. They're not practical. They don't they don't take care of things. They're not they're not uh, they're based they they work out of a low vibration. They. They uh, or they're angry and upset and they're controlling and they're unhealthy. And and I feel like it's almost as though somebody could. I don't know what's going to happen, but you need to be careful. OK, somebody could end up. Uh, not making it, whatever that means to you. OK, and somehow you get what they had. Whatever it means. Maybe you get an inheritance. Maybe you get their home. Maybe you get their children. I don't know what that means, but um, not that, that. Maybe you. Maybe maybe uh, some of you. The third party doesn't work out, and somebody comes towards you. There is a reunion here of two people that are meant to be, and it's very sudden, and it's exciting. It's an exciting opportunity for love and growth. And passion. It is. I mean, this is a new opportunity for love, and this is this is a new opportunity for growth. I mean, it's beautiful. This is a reconciliation or a new love that is entering your life suddenly. Good luck. 